okay after setting up the network i hope you people have done this for this network also because here the network was 25 so we can give it two to this router and one to this router on this interfaces right so we are done with the ipv6 configuration not completely basically because still the routing part is remaining if you try to ping from pc1 to this router of course you will get the reply from pc1 to pc2 also you will get the reply because this belongs to same router of course so definitely the packets will get routed but if you try to ping from pc1 to server 3 for example let me take the ip address of server 3 here from the ip configuration section let me pick this copy and let me take the simple example like from pc1 if i try to access the web services so i'll go here i'll just paste it and i'll just click enter so it will not allow me to access because still the routing part is remaining okay so before we actually start with the practical the routing scheme has to be done and here in the router we cannot go with uh, this services in the config tab static and rip because this services work for ipv4 so for ipv6 we have to precisely explicitly mention the routing scheme so let's see how to do the static routing here so now if i'm on r1 definitely you all can see that r1 is connected to three different networks like this 10 11 and 20 so r1 knows 10 11 20 so r1 doesn't know that this 25 r1 doesn't know and 30 r1 doesn't know so for that we have to go to r1 go to cli get yourself into configuration mode con ft okay then type the command ipv6 root now you have to mention the network address that r1 doesn't know okay r1 is not directly connected to 25 and 30 so i'll just mention the 25 here have a look so i'm going ahead here i'm just mentioning 25 and slash 64 okay so this is a network address of that network which is from where like for uh, r1 which is not directly connected to okay and space now if r1 wants to connect or r1 wants to forward the packet so we have to tell the next hop like to whom r1 should send the packet to connect to this network okay so if you can see the diagram here r1 is connected via r2 and so we can ask r1 to make a next hop to this interface and the r2 this interface you all remember right uh this this was serial 010 and the ip address was given uh 20 yeah network address was 20 and one was given to the r1 the two was given to the r2 so we can ask r1 to make a hop next hop to two of this 20 network okay so i'll let me complete the command so again i'll just copy paste and i'll just correctly specifically mention the ip address have a look so i'm mentioning on the network 20 okay please jump to second which was the uh, ip address given to the r2 and then click enter okay this is what i have asked r1 one more time you have to do because r1 also doesn't know the network 30 on the right hand side you all can see this network okay so we have to just make the few changes in this command just replace the 25 with 30 now and do the exactly and give this exactly same next hop okay and then click enter so r1 part is done actually now r1 knows all the five networks okay now similarly we have to do it for r2 and r3 so if i go to r2 and if i if you see the r2 r2 is directly connected to 20 and 25 r2 doesn't know anything about 10 11 and 30 so we have to make three entries here mentioning the next hop so we'll do it for 10 and 11 first so let's go to R2 in configuration mode IPv6 root mentioning the address okay mentioning the address uh, let's say 10 the first network slash 64 mentioning the network address now I have to mention the next hop a packet should take from r2 to reach to that network so definitely from r2 if a packet wants to reach this network 10 
so the next hop will be like this router right and this router interface ip address was uh, the network address was 20 so 20 and then one was given to this right so i'll just mention it paste i'll mention one and then i'll give 20 here enter okay similarly one more network was there same command and we just have to replace 10 by 11 because for the 11 also it has to take the same next hop and then i'll enter so we are done with these two entries of 10 and 11 but r2 also have to know about 30 also on the right hand side so we have to make one more entry here so i'll just take the command i'll just mention the network address 30 now but this time uh the hop will be different because 30 is lying on this side so the next hop for r2 will be or packets for r from our coming r2 from coming to from what like to uh, towards this network 30 uh, and uh, from r2 will be uh, this interface right the interface uh, network is 25 and one was given to this r3 interface so 25 i'll make the changes quickly here it is 25 and one of course one was given to the r3 right and then enter we are done with r2 also now close it similarly we have to do it for like r3 also so i'll do it uh, r3 is connected directly to 30 and 25 so rest three networks like this 20 10 and 11 we have to make the entry in r3 so let's go to r3 get yourself in configuration mode ipv6 root now mentioning the network address uh we'll go one by one so the first one is 20 right 20 address slash 64 and making a next hop i guess it will remain same for all the three network the next hop will be this from r3 to r2 this interface and this interface uh ip address was given 25 colon colon 2 okay so pasting it here mentioning 2 and changing here 25 sorry colon 2 25 okay and then enter i'll just copy the same command because we want to have a same hop for network address 10 also and 11 also So static routing is done so the whole network setup is done basically now we can actually start with the practical but before we do that let's verify whether this pcs are connected or whether we can we are able to ping from server 3 to pc1 let's see let's try so if i go to pc1 if i go to web browser and if i paste the ip address of the server and i'll be able to see the web page here similarly from pc2 also i want to see go to web browser paste it here ip address and yeah from pc2 also i'm able to access server 3 if i want to ping from server 3 to pc1 so let me go to server uh, let me go to command prom uh, let me ping the ip address of the pc1 which was 10 colon colon 2 making some few changes and we are getting the reply so server is able to ping pc1 similarly let me try if it is able to ping pc2 also on the 11th network and we are getting the reply so connection done successfully now we can actually begin with the practical that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below. For more such updates follow us on Instagram and Facebook.